West Yorkshire. Simon Steer from London. Susan Sanham from Kent. John Reynolds from Essex. Brian Foley from Greater Manchester. Steve Jeffries from Cardiff. David Reynolds from Cheshire. Barbara Reed from Flintshire. John Fitzgerald. And one more David Reynolds from London. Right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. Ten brand new contestants, brand new show. Fastest finger first. Get the right order in the fastest time. You're next. Play for a possible million pounds. Nice and quiet, please, in the audience. As quiet as Marcel Marceau. Here comes the first question tonight. Starting with the furthest west, put these ferry ports along the south coast in order. New Haven, Dover, Portsmouth, Folkestone. Those very quick on their buttons. Let's see if they were right there. This is the right order, starting west, going towards the east, then farthest west, Portsmouth, then you're going along to New Haven, then you go up around the corner to Folkestone, and then it's Dover. That's the right order. Now, ten started. How many got it right? All these got it right. Only one. Who was fastest? John Ramson. It's 7.18 seconds. Well done, John. One out of ten. Anyone got it? Want to pay for a million pounds? Yes, please. Thank you, John. So here we go. First contestant tonight is John Ramsden, an insurance underwriter from Brough up in East Yorkshire. And our wife, Amanda, is up in the audience, uh, hoping for a big winner. She's just been made redundant and rather fancies never having to go job hunting again. Um, John's used to go in the distance under stressful conditions. He's run the London Marathon three times. His best time was very good. Three hours, 25 minutes. Unfortunately, at the finish, uh, he was overtaken by a fairy and had to do a sprint finish with a gorilla. <laughs> That happens on those things, doesn't it? It does, yeah. All these strange characters running around <laughs> with huge, big, heavy things on their backs as yeah. well. Yeah, and they're all faster than me. I yeah. don't know why. My wife was narrowly <laughs> beaten by an opal fruit, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, um, what's the great buzz for you about doing the marathon? It must be... I mean, that, that start must be one of the great adrenaline rushes of all time, I think. Fantastic. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just amazing. The, the amount of people there. You can't move when, it first, when the gun yeah. first goes off. There's just so many people, but... Yeah. Yeah. What's the worst thing about running a marathon like that, a big one? The last 200 metres. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, because you can see the, the finish line and you think, oh, I'll go for a sprint finish. Yeah. But uh, your legs don't want to do it. <laughs> That's when you're overtaken by the fairies and the gorillas. That's right, yeah. <laughs> OK, well, lots of love to... Uh, lots of love. Lots of love from me. <laughs> lots of love to me. Uh, you know how it works by now. 15 questions, £1 million, pounds, three brand new lifelines. John's got his 50-50, he's got phone a friend, and he can ask this brand new shiny audience. OK, John, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So, John, 15 questions. This is the first one for £100. Have a look, take your time, tell me the answer. The abbreviation USA stands for United What? States of America, Sands of Algeria, Sheep of Australia, Sausages of Austria. That'll be States of America. Chris. That'll be States of America. You've got £100. <laughs> Which of these was a nautical TV drama series of the 70s? The Oneidin Line. What's my line? The Plimsoll Line. The Bottom Line. Yeah, the Oneidin Line. It's the right answer. You've got £200. <laughs> Okay, question number three for 300 quid. John, just be aware of those lifelines. They're there if you need them. Yeah. Question number three, you're 13 away from a million. This is for 300 quid. Complete the saying, you can't have your cake and... Eat it. Ice it. Bake it. Burn it. It's the first one again, Chris. Eat it. This right answer, you got 300 quid. <laughs> OK, question number four for £500. Here it comes. Who starred with Meg Ryan in the 1989 film When Harry Met Sally? Billy Crystal, Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, Woody Allen. Remember the film? 
Uh, yes, I've seen it. It's the first one yet again. Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. It's your right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> There's always one particular scene in that film that everybody remembers. Uh, you've got 500 quid. The last point, John, at which he could go home with nothing. I'm sure it won't happen. You've got all three lifelines still intact. This is for £1,000. Question number five. Which of these is a type of cushion used as a low seat? Tomato bag. Pea bag. Parsnip bag. Bean bag. It's bean bag, Chris. You were for a second there, weren't you? It's <laughs> so right answer. You've got £1,000. Well done, John. <laughs> Guaranteed £1,000, whatever happens. You once came second in a piano competition, and there are only two of you in it. That's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who was that then? Who, well, who won? A friend of mine called Jonathan. <laughs> what did you get for coming second? Uh, just a certificate saying that I got second place. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mention that. <laughs> didn't say there were two people in it. So. Ah, well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Have a look at question number six. It's worth £2,000. You're ten away from a million. Here it is. In which country is the town of Luxor? Why are you nodding at me? Because it's Egypt. Because it's Egypt. Yeah. If <laughs> Egypt doesn't come up there, panic, OK? Turkey. Egypt. Israel. Lebanon. You can go orange on Egypt. Final yes. answer? Yeah. Go orange, eh? Technical talk, John. Boy. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Beautiful place on the Nile where a lot of people go uh, to get away from the English cold weather in the winter. You've got £2,000, you've still got those lifelines. Question number seven is for £4,000, no problem at all so far. You've got three lifelines, here it is. Betty Boothroyd was the first woman to hold which... You're doing that little nod again. The first woman to hold which post? What do you want to see this time? Um, Speaker of the House of Commons. OK, see what happens. Poet Laureate. Speaker. Prime Minister. Astronomer Royal. Speaker, Chris. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got 4,000. <laughs> um, you've got 4,000 pounds. OK, question number eight is for 8,000 pounds. Here it comes. Caribou is another name for which animal? Walrus, hippopotamus, reindeer, fox. It's reindeer, Chris. Final answer. I've not asked you yet. <laughs> is that your final answer, John? It is, Chris. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> right, John. £8,000 to you and Amanda. You've got no kids? No, no, a lot yeah. of money? Handy? Very handy? Would be handy, yeah. Very handy? Very handy. What would be very, very handy? Truthfully. 32 or more, I think. Yeah, you're just two away from that, and you've got three lifelines left, hopefully to help you through. This is for 16,000. It's question number nine of a possible 15. Here it is. In 2000, which former newsreader was appointed chairman of the English National Ballet? Jan Leeming, Sue Lawley, Angela Rippon, Pamela Armstrong. Ring a bell at all? I've got a, an idea. <laughs> what are you thinking? Mm. I'm thinking uh, Angela Rippon. Up to you. Because she was on uh, an old episode of Mark Markham and Wise, I think. And she did a little bit of dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Go 50 50, Chris. Okay. Computer, take away two wrong answers, leave John the one remaining wrong answer and the right answer. She's still there, isn't she? Mm, she's still there. Uh, with Sue Lawley. I think I'll have to go for Angela Rippon. Final answer. Final answer. You ever seen Sue Lawley dance? No. Nor has anybody else. It's the right answer. You've got £16,000. <laughs> You've got £16,000. 
Right, question number 10 of a possible 15. This is it. Billy Bones is a character in which of these books? Robinson Crusoe, Treasure Island, Moonfleet, Kidnapped. Well, I've not, I've not read any of them, so... <laughs> um, I'm struggling a bit. You've got to ask the audience. Uh, you've got to phone a friend. You lose 15,000 here. If you do go for it, give me a wrong answer. I think I'll phone a friend, Chris. Up to you. Who do you want to phone? Um, I think I'll phone Philip. Philip? OK. Where's he? Up in Yorkshire? Uh, no, he's down south somewhere. <laughs> OK. Hello? Philip? Yeah? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hi. I've got John here. He's doing rather well. He's on £16,000. Excellent. Excellent. With your help, we can make it double excellent and get him up to 32000 <laughs> Good. All right, Phil. OK. Next one's here will be John. So, tell you a question. There are still four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth 32000 Thanks. OK. All right. Good luck, Phil. John, your time starts now. Billy Bones is a character in which one of these books? Robinson Crusoe. Treasure Island, Moonfleet, or Kidnapped? Treasure Island. Definitely. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. Thanks, Phil. OK. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Yes. Well, if he's right, what a very, very, very nice man he turned out to be. Um, <laughs> if he's wrong, what a pillar. <laughs> <laughs> it's your call. He sounded very confident. It's up yeah, to you. Yeah, I trust him 100%. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> I tell you what, that is exactly the sort of phone a friend you want. You've just won £32,000, John. Well done. Exactly the sort of phone a friend you need. <laughs> Thanks to Phil being so positive and so correct as well. You've now got the cheque you said you wanted more than anything. 32... You can take it, you want. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> it's yours. Take it. 32... You haven't got a pocket, but... Uh, I have. Yes, you have. I have. Oh, it's a little blue pocket. A little one. OK. Like, don't crumple it. £32,000, John, whatever happens, uh, crumple it. If you want, actually, it's your check. You go home with that at least tonight. But have a look at question number 11. It's worth £64,000 to you. A noisette chocolate is made or flavoured with which type of nut? Brazil nut, walnut, almond, hazelnut. Tell by Amanda's face, she knows. I can tell by your face, you don't. <laughs> you got 32,000. What do you think? Got a clue? Um, I've got a clue. But I'm not going to say what that is. I guess I'm going to ask the audience. OK. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. Let's see what happens. This is for £64,000 to John. He's guaranteed 32000 This would double his money. A, B, C or D for £64,000. All vote now. Uh, 69% say hazelnut. It's quite high. Um, don't know which one. Uh, which one of that percentage includes Amanda? She's very positive <laughs> up there. It's up to you. You said you thought you knew. You didn't think this one at all. No, did you? I thought, I thought of almond. I don't know why. I had no you, idea. Listen, you still might be right. 70% say almond. No, I've got to go with the audience. You haven't got to. It's a, it's a type of question that people know the answer to. I think so. I'll go, for, I'll go with the audience. D. Final answer. Final answer. You're going with Hazelnut with this audience. Yeah. <laughs> this audience have just won you £64,000! I'll put it there. You got that. You've got that, but thanks to this fine body of men and women at the moment, you've got a much larger cheque for 64000 Serious money. And you doubted this audience for a second. <laughs> I have to say, frankly, when I came in, so did I. You've got £64,000. We don't want to give you that. Have a look at question number 12. Tell me if you like the look of it. It's for £125,000. You're guaranteed 32. You can walk with 64. This is question number 12 of a possible 15. Which British monarch was the first to give a Christmas Day broadcast to the nation? Victoria.